If you are developing an application for today's internet, you know that using just server-side scripting like JSP or Thymelief will no more work. And instead, the trend now is to develop AJAX-based applications with rich clients like JavaScript applications or mobile apps in the front end, backed by some API like a REST API at the server side. Spring is a great framework for developing such server-side APIs. But the default configurations of Spring favors developing traditional applications rather than APIs. When developing APIs instead, you will need to override these defaults by doing some tricky configurations. And not only that, you will also need to lay out various patterns for handling validation, security, etc. in a great manner. In fact, if you do a search in the internet, you will find so many articles, blog posts, and guides on these topics that you will get confused which one to follow and which one not. So, I thought to go through those guides, articles, uh, Spring documentation, and then apply my experience and knowledge on top of those, and then compile an essential and easy to follow blueprint course, which you can follow to develop great APIs. And as you know that developing a user module is a common requirement which you are going to meet in almost every API that you are going to develop, I thought to include that as well in the blueprint. So far so good, but wait, if the things that we are going to learn in this blueprint is common to all APIs, could not it be packaged as a separate library so that you can just include that in your projects and start coding your business logic straight away? Why not, I thought. And so I assembled a configurable and extensible open source library named Spring Lemon for this purpose. So this course is divided into two parts. This tutorial which you are taking now is the first part which is meant to get you started. And here in this tutorial we are going to walk through developing a robust REST API with a great user module really quickly by using Spring Lemon. In the second part, which would be a different tutorial or maybe a book, we will dive into mastering the details and see the last lecture of this tutorial for the link to the second part. To follow this course, you must have some prior knowledge of Spring Framework's dependency injection, Java configuration, boot, MVC, security, and Spring Data JPA. And if you are new to any of these, I would recommend my video tutorials at Udemy on these topics. You will also find it useful to refer to the free ebook Getting Started with Spring Lemon as you proceed through this course. So go get it now. So the next video would present the application that we are going to develop. And after that, we will actually develop the application. But before that, let me introduce myself quickly. I am Sanjay Patel. I have about 20 years of software development experience. And for last many years, I have been using Spring Framework almost full time. You can know more about me at my blog, www.naturalprogrammer.com.